Hey guys, so right now I'm rebuilding a 2002 RM250 and one of the most time consuming things with rebuilding an engine, especially a two stroke engine with an exhaust valve, is getting all of the carbon buildup off the parts. So today I'm gonna to show you how I go about getting all that crap off. So here we have all the exhaust valve parts from the RM250. This stuff is pretty gummed up. I've seen worse though, but either way, the method I'm using should rip all this off without doing too much scrubbing. So first thing, you wanna separate the aluminum parts from the steel. The aluminum will kinda of get damaged if you use some of these methods. So that piece is aluminum as well. We're gonna to have to separate this too. For the steel, we can use stuff that's pretty aggressive, but for the aluminum, we don't wanna damage it, so we're gonna use something else. You can check these parts with the magnet to make sure they are steel or aluminum. That one is aluminum. And that one is steel. And I've already got the cylinder off the spike all cleaned up. You can see how well all that carbon came off of there inside the exhaust valve areas, just absolutely spotless. Now, one thing I will say before I get going is if you have access to a vapor blaster, that's gonna work the absolute best for getting all this crap off. Now, like many of you, I don't have one at my disposal. They're pretty expensive. So I'm gonna show you guys how we can clean up this stuff without having expensive equipment. Now for the steel parts, we're gonna drop them into a pan and then place the pan into an oven. Now, obviously you don't want this to be an oven that you're gonna be using later on for cooking. So drop the parts in there for about a half hour to heat them up. All right, the parts should be up to temp by now. Now we're gonna to wanna to bring these parts outside or in a well ventilated area. And then we're gonna hose them down while they're still hot with oven cleaner. You can see some of that carbon is already starting to melt off there. So I'm gonna leave the cleaner on there until the parts are completely cool to the touch. Now I'm just gonna spray the parts down with some degreaser to get all of the rest of that off. Now after the first round, I would say about 90% of the carbon is off the parts. Still a little bit left in areas, especially inside of there. Now if you don't wanna do any scrubbing or scraping, you can do a second round and it'll pull the rest of that carbon off. So that's what we're gonna do now. Now after a second trip through the oven, this stuff came out spotless. Not one speck of carbon left over. So this oven cleaner really did the trick. It was only like dollar at the dollar store. Imagine that. But yeah, cheap way to clean up your parts. Now it's time to clean up the aluminum parts. We can't use the oven cleaner on this stuff. This cleaner is pretty caustic and it'll actually eat away the aluminum. So we're gonna use something a little different. We have a couple different options for cleaning up these parts. The first being this simple green degreaser from Home Depot. I've had some luck with that. But what works even better is magua cleaner that's what i've got in this bucket here i don't have a bottle to show you guys it's actually pretty similar to this stuff here but i ended up buying a bunch of bottles and just dumped them into a bucket so i'm going to soak these parts in the magua cleaner if you don't have a bucket of it like i have just spray the parts down let them soak for a while and come back and it should be eating up pretty good all right let's see how this stuff is coming along I've got a feeling we're gonna have to do some scrubbing, unlike the oven method where it just wiped right off. But let's see what we can do. Looks like a good amount of this carbon came off of here. Still quite a bit inside this cover. All right, so the magua cleaner's working, but not quite as well as I would have hoped. I mean, I hate just sitting here scrubbing every little part for hours, so I'm gonna try something different. All right, now what I've got here is some water with a little bit of that simple green degreaser at a rolling boil. It seems like heat is what helps loosen up this carbon. Now, obviously, if you're gonna put anything at a boil like this, especially a degreaser, you wanna make 100% sure that it's not flammable. So let's give this stuff a shot. It's been about a half hour. Let's take a peek at this stuff. Looking pretty good. Wow, that's a huge difference. This cover was really nasty before. Yeah, the heat seems to have done the trick once again. Now this batch turned out really good. All the carbon basically just wiped right off. Didn't take too much scrubbing. This stuff is pretty much spotless. 
Now this whole thing was kind of an experiment in itself. So if I were to do it again, I would probably just grab everything, steel and aluminum, drop it into the pot on the stove, let that thing boil with some simple green degreaser, and that would pretty much just rip it all off. And come to think of it, you could probably do some really heavy duty degreasing if you wanted to drop a crankcase or a cylinder, clutch cover, even like a transmission into a pot with some of that degreaser, get it up to a boil and it'll rip everything right off. Now, if you're wanting to clean the carbon out of an exhaust pipe, like an expansion chamber, I would spray the oven cleaner at both ends of the pipe, let it soak, kind of shake it around, hose it out. You could maybe even drop it in the oven or uh, apply some heat to it. Heat always seems to help. Now at this point, the parts are pretty good. Everything is basically spotless and carbon free, but there's another level we can go with this stuff. Let me show you. After a quick buff, got this stuff looking really good, almost better than new. Now on the actual valve itself, there's a pretty good sized nick in the face here. I was able to smooth that out with the buffing pads. Now obviously I didn't want to go ahead and burn off all the coating on this valve. So just hitting the face was fine, but the rest of these parts look absolutely awesome, especially the aluminum covers. They're looking freaking sweet. Now, why didn't I just use the buffing pads right from the get-go? On some of these parts, it's pretty tight to get in there, and the pads wouldn't have been able to get all that carbon off. And also, I didn't want to buff on them too much, just in case the pads kind of distorted the metal or wore away the surface. But just a quick buff was plenty enough to get them looking good. Now, if you guys would like to pick up those buffing pads I used throughout the video, or the Simple Green Degreaser, I will have both linked down below the video in the description. Thank you so much for watching the video guys. Hope this one helped out and I will see you next time.